What is going on, Heartbreaker Nation? Kronite here. And, man, I mean, it's it's really... You know what? I just want to be straight up and honest with you guys. It's, it's really hard to actually break the ice with a new channel. Um, I'm currently on two other community channels, and just breaking the ice, I mean, just knowing, not knowing what people will say about you, and, and you know, the first impression is, it's really hard for some commentators, and for me, I mean, I've been doing this for two years, and it's still the same feeling, you know, what will people say about you kind of thing. Um, even though I take, you know, negative, positive, constructive, I take it all in and try to make a positive out of it just to move forward in my, uh, you know, content and gameplays and commentaries, things like that. I take all that in and try to move it into a positive direction, but uh, still, it, it still gets me to, man, what will people say before that video goes up? Um, but this will be my first post to Heartbreak Nation and hopefully more posts. Uh, I'm looking forward to possibly getting a chance to post to this channel. Um, I actually just recently found out about the channel. I didn't know until I saw somebody on Twitter talk about it. This channel is cool. Gold Glove is doing some awesome stuff for the community. People should check it out. So I went and checked it out and I was like, man, I got to get involved fast before this thing blows up, man, before I don't have a chance to get involved. So I know this channel will blow up. I've already seen the five other directors that are part of it and uh, it's different content. It's not just Black Ops. It's not just, you know, one-sided. It's different content from all directors. So I'm really excited and hopefully I'll get more involved with it and uh, but before I talk more on how awesome it is to be here and all that good stuff I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about me as, as far as what I do on YouTube and how I'm involved with the gaming community other than just having a YouTube channel like everybody else um, I currently am a director for the optic zone I have been the director for the Optic Zone for about, I think, four to five months now. It's been a great opportunity, I think. Uh, Paul, for giving me the opportunity. I post videos up there every week. Hopefully every week, that's what I do. I try to get gameplays out every week. Um, and also, I am a, a host to a new show on PGN Live now. I'm hosting a show, and, you know, it's, it's funny to me that... I never thought to myself that I'd be hosting a show on any channel due to the fact that I'm such a in a low subscriber base. Um, but really, to people that actually want to, you know, get out there, it's not your subscriber base; it's the content you bring out. Um, so I know a lot of people try to get subscribers. That's how they think they're gonna get get. Ooh, my voice just cracked really bad. <laughs> get somewhere, but um, it's really the content you put out and the feedback you get on it is what counts the most. Um, so that's what I try to do to be more involved, but I will be hosting a show on PGM Live. That's another part of community channel I am going to be involved with, and that's going to be shining the spotlight not on me. It's going to be shining the spotlight on the other gamers, you know, the people that don't get to see spotlight, the people that don't get to get any feedback because there's so many people doing this one thing that there's no chance for anybody else. So those are two channels I'm involved in aside from my YouTube channel. I have been involved with... Uh, one team on YouTube that's been great uh, as far as Call of Duty goes. Uh, that's That was my main focus up until just recently. I've been, I'm going to be more focused on doing um, Gears of War 3 when it comes out. I'm going to be focused on Battlefield 3. That's my origin. That's where I come from as a first person shooter. Um, that's where I started was Battlefield Vietnam and then 2142 and then actually battlefield 2 then 2142 but that's where i that's what i'm going to be focusing on as a gamer and the content i'm going to be bringing out so you guys just got the little basic of what i do what i like to do what i like to be involved with i mean the community is my home that's my motto you know it's it's kind of it's kind of cheesy to think about it the community is my home um, I feed and thrive off the community. This is why I do it because people, when they actually do see your videos, they get more involved with it, you know, and it gets more people involved. The only way the community lives is if everybody gets involved and starts posting that content out and getting the feedback, you know, and all that. That's how the community lives, um, and that's what I try to do. So, in honor of that, I guess, and in honor of Heartbreak, uh, Heartbreaker Nation, I keep saying Heartbreak because. Uh, a, Brett Michael, uh, Shawn Michaels, <laughs> Brett Michaels, <laughs> Shawn Michaels, <laughs> uh, the wrestler, former wrestler, I think. I haven't paid attention to wrestling in a long time, but I keep saying Heartbreak Nation instead of Heartbreaker Nation. But um, 
moving on from that we have some more time here i know we have like about five or so minutes here i'm gonna go into my first experience in gears of war 3 uh this beta the, the gameplay you're watching here today is my first gears of war experience i didn't play gears of war 1 or 2 i recently have purchased gears of war 2 uh just to see what the differences are because i know when i played the beta and i'm so happy that I was involved with the beta that when i played it a lot of people were like man this is so much different from gears of war 2 it's faster it's it's just better than you know it's how smooth the game came out um, is just better and you know what I realized that when I played Gears of War 2 the difference is that people were talking about it. I was like I can't believe this is so you know it's so different but being that Gears of War 2 got such a bad review at the end of it when the final product was out I think the developers took that one extra year to actually finish off Gears of War 3 and polish it off to to the uh, you know what gamers liking what they like so being that being part of the beta and actually giving feedback to the developers is what you should do when you're part of the beta and um, the one thing that I do want to talk about, I don't know if you guys play Gears of War 3 beta, but the sawed off shotgun you've seen me die to a couple of times here, and that sawed off shotgun and retail version will be taken out. It will be taken out. As far as I know, the developers have cho chosen to take that gun out of the game because um, it wasn't skillful. I think a lot of people from the beta, I think a lot of big names also have uh, put a lot of detail into what they say to the developers. and. Um, the developers overall listened to the beta testers and said, man, they're right, this gun should not be in here. Um, I was thinking they might just do a different kind of game type where the gun is not evolved, which a lot of games do after the retail version it has been finally released, but they chose to actually do it before it's released, which is a big step up for developers. Not a lot of people take that chance of actually taking a huge part of the game, which is a shotgun. Um, but there are other guns, of course. We only saw a few guns on the beta, so that's one thing that's not going to be in the beta. Another thing I can say is, and you know, I've only played a beta for four, four days, so I don't have much experience in Gears of War, but jumping back to Gears of War 2 is what a lot of people do when they don't play the game. They play the newest game of that franchise, and they jump back to see what the differences are. A lot of people do that in Call of Duty. A lot of people jump back to Modern Warfare 2 now, COD 4, World at War, all that, just to see what the big differences are. Um, and mainly, they do that mainly because a lot of the huge commentators and gamers... Um, that are far up there in the food chain as far as the YouTube community goes and also the gaming community goes say, you know They encourage that which is good and bad at times But I think it was a good experience for me that I jumped back into the Gears of War 2 because it gave me that difference um, It gave me the opportunity to see what is different what has changed from Gears of War 2 from to Gears of War 3 so I did a little more research and what has changed is actually in Gears of War 1 um, how fast your character moved was extremely. Um, it was like, let's say on a scale to 1 to 10, it was 12 on how fast and the character moved, you know, through obstacles, things like that, when you're actually running and all that. Um, and then I think the developers in Gears of War 1, you know, for Gears of War 1, they saw that. It was like, it was too much for players to take in. And then in Gears of War 2, they slowed it down so much that there was no medium for the actual players that wanted to get that speed in. So that's one thing in Gears of War 3, they actually found that medium between Gears of War 1 and Gears of War 2 and how fast the character moved. And also, wall bouncing was huge and is huge. And Gears of War 3, I think they polished that off as well a little bit. So... Those are the couple things that have changed. Uh, one huge thing in Gears of War 3, which I loved, and I think every beta should have, is dedicated servers, just to show what the game can do. Um, Gears of War 2 does not have you know, dedicated servers, so it's host wins every time, and it's really crazy. I mean, I've never actually played a game that the host won so much, but, um, man... Gears of War 2, if you're the host, you're a winner. If you're next to the host, as far as connection goes, you're a winner. Um, and, and it's kind of overpowered to say that host can win the whole thing. Of course host can win the whole thing because they're getting the best connection, the best movement, the most you know smoothness in the game. So that's one thing I love in Gears of War 3. There, it's going to be dedicated servers, uh, which I think is another huge step as far as a franchise and you know the developers looked at it i'm guessing and saying man this is this is we need to change some stuff around we can't have the same product you know two times in a row it's just bad for business so i think that's another thing they looked at dedicated service in beta was awesome um i had a lot of fun I, i've never actually been disconnected or been like host migration in the beta when there were when the dedicated service were up servers were up so i was playing 100 percent of the time when i was in the game so that was really fun for me i loved it um 
there's nothing more I can say about Gears of War 3 Beta except I can't wait for the retail version. I think the developers are taking the right look at it as far as the game goes. Um, being that I played so many games in the past, I know how games can crumble with uh, different weapons. You know, in Modern Warfare 2, there was a new tube problem. Um, so, being developers and taking that extra step before they even before the retail releases, just you know, getting getting the game polished off and ready to uh, be presented on a you know on a stand, you know, as first place. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be a great game. Of, you know, one of the games of the year, if not the game of the year. Um, and being that it's my first experience, I don't have anything bad to say except I start off shotgun problem, which is going to be taken care of. So that's really everything about me, guys. I think I've talked enough for the first round here. And uh, hopefully I'll, you'll see more of me. I love being involved in a channel like this. And uh, hopefully I'll get an opportunity to uh, talk a little bit more. And it's not just going to be on this Gears of War 3. It's going to be on Call of Duty and other games as well. I like to play more than just one game. And this is where the game is going to end, guys. I've been The Creation Nightmare, a.k.a. Chronite for short. And I am glad that you gave me the opportunity to be here. And until next time, it's been great. Have a great day or night. Depends on where you are, right? Take it easy.